What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're gonna to be talking about connecting Power BI into a database. Now there are several databases that are already set up for connection directly through Power BI, but today's question really deals with what happens when we don't have the availability to connect into a database that we're using in Power BI? What options do we have available? So we're gonna start off in Power BI and take a look at some of the databases that we have available to us. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside of Power BI and we're just going to select the Get Data icon here at the top to get a full list of our data sources. So as we're connecting into a database, we're gonna see this option for database here on the left hand side. So you can select the database option to see a full list of databases that are supported inside of Power BI. So we can see that we have SQL Server, we have Oracle, we have Postgre, we have Teradata, SAP, Amazon, Google, Snowflake, there's a lot of different databases available. But the question today really deals with what if we do not have one of these pre-selected databases available? What if we're using a database that doesn't have the option to connect directly into that database? And so what we can search for is ODBC. We can see that there is an ODBC connector here. And so an ODBC connector allows you to connect into a database using a specific driver. So it allows you to import data from a third party driver by specifying the data source name or connection string. And you can also specify a SQL statement to execute against that ODBC driver as well. Now we also have an OLE driver. So an OLE database driver, this is designed to connect to Microsoft databases and other third party databases as well. And so depending upon the database that you're using, you're going to have the availability to use one of these other connection options in order to access your database. If you have a web-based data source, you can use the OData connection string. So we have this OData feed. This is designed to connect to web-based data sources. And so as we have an understanding of what these data sources connect into, let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says that you attempt to connect Power BI Desktop to a Cassandra database. From the Get Data Connector list, you discover that there is no specific connector for Cassandra database. You need to select an alternate data connector that will connect to this database. What type of connector should you choose? So as we look at this, we have to have an understanding of what these different connectors allow us to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first one, a Microsoft SQL Server database. So Microsoft SQL Server database is specifically designed to connect into SQL Server. And so we know that we are connecting into a Cassandra database, which is not a SQL Server database. And so with this first connector option, we automatically realize that we're not going to be able to use option A because once again, Microsoft SQL Server is specific. So we are not going to be able to use this option A because once again, that is specifically designed to connect to SQL Server databases. The next one is an ODBC connector. So we know that the ODBC connector allows us to import data from a third party ODBC driver by specifying the data source name or connection string. So ODBC is a potential option. As we look at OLEDB, so OLEDB is designed to connect to Microsoft databases and other third party databases. So this is a potential option, 
depending upon the database that we have. So with a Cassandra database, it has the option for us to connect using an ODBC driver. So because of this knowledge, because we know that a Cassandra database has an ODBC driver, we are not going to be using an OLE database connection option. And then finally, we have the OData. The OData option is designed to connect to a web-based data source. Well, Cassandra database is not a web-based data source, and so we can eliminate this OData option because Cassandra database is not a web-based option. Now, this does require that you have an understanding of different database connectors, but typically, if you do not have a option to connect directly into your database, a majority of the time, you're going to be using this ODBC connector. And so that is the correct answer. B, use an ODBC connector to connect into the Cassandra database using that driver. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.